In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we generate emitter audio on the fly. I'll do this by changing the emitter definitions using this uh, editor here, and I'll make changes to the beam shape, pulse data, and scan pattern. You'll be able to hear and see these changes immediately uh, in the displays. So one of the first things you can do to make a big change in audio is, of course, change the PRI. and you'll hear a different tone for that PRI. In addition, we can make changes to the scan. And, in fact, we could do different PRIs on each sweep of the scan. we could do complex multiple PRIs. And of course we can change the beam shape. add side lobes. And back lobes. Or we could do more complex scan patterns. We could do a raster scan. Let's do an ordinary raster scan. Or we could do a complicated scan, such as a Palmer raster scan. So there are multiple ways to make changes to an emitter definition that will result in changes to the audio. In our case, we only generate audio from the emitter definitions. So whatever the data is that uh, correctly produces that emitter, we will generate the audio from that. 